So today I've got a temporary setup to show you the advantage of the DC charge enhancer. Here's two 200 watt solar panels. They're monocrystalline and they're rigid ones of course. I've just got them temporarily set up in the sun to show you uh, and also they're connected in series. So they're connected in series so that I'm getting about 50 watts of DC voltage showing on my multimeter. Let's go take a look at the charge enhancer and see how we're doing in terms of added extra solar coming into the AC200 Max. So there it is. I've got the uh, air conditioning on out in here in the tiny home because it's a hot day and the charge enhancer's got the red light on which means it's working. There's the uh, wires coming in, the temporary wires and it's plugged into the AC socket along with the main array. Now the main array is giving me 922 watts, that's the maximum. And I'm also getting 300, almost 300 coming in, giving me a combined total of 1,200 and something watts. And I've got 915 going out on the lights and air conditioning. The AC load is 900, the input is 1200, so I'm actually charging, it's gone up to 97%. I know you can't read the state of charge very easily here, but it's 97%. So it's been charging through the transfer switch. I mean, it's been running the air conditioning through the transfer switch, and I've got an air conditioning running at a nice, cool 27 degrees. Yes, I've got to put the panel cover on, I know, but I just want to show you the wiring for the meter and the overvoltage protector. So the AC200 is putting out a steady 230 volts. I'm running it through this cable into the transfer switch and the main panel with the grid is off. Running air conditioning at 27, nice and cool and I can run the air conditioning without depleting the battery. Look at that, that's what you want to see. You want to see more coming in than going out. So I think this uh, charge enhancer is very useful because you can use it with the solar during the day and then in the evening when there's no more daylight you can transfer over solar power from the Bluetti EB70 through the car 12 volt connector through the socket here through this socket you can run the AC or sorry the DC charge enhancer to charge the battery at night so you've got two ways of using the charge enhancer during the daytime with the solar panels and at night with another battery or two so very useful piece of equipment I'm really happy with that look at that that's exactly what you want to see in solar. You want to see more coming in than is going out. 1,200 watts coming in, 920 watts going out, so the battery will stay charged during the day. Perfect.